Okay. Woo, 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 woo. Hi, this is Rima. Hi. I don't know if I've ever introduced myself. I know. Okay. Hey. And hi, this is my mom. Introduce yourself. My name is Tracy Philpott, Rima's mom. Don't say your last name. Well, Tracy. You told the people all your business. Now it's too late. Just wanted to hop on here real quick with my mommy. Thanks for joining um, us, you guys. We want to do a little sax fifth haul. Show them your bag. Who? We may do a little bit of our Sephora haul in here too, because uh, we did go to Sephora on Fridays. Currently Sunday night. Uh, I went and got the CC. Your skin is better. By with, It Cosmetics. Yeah, by It Cosmetics with a 50% uh, sunscreen in it, and I have it on. I've had it on you like all it? day. I think I put it on oh, we around about four. four, and I think it's about eight something now. So it has really good coverage. Um, I like that it's more skin. It, it feels like your skin. It is, you can see down here where I'm glowing and then my face matches my skin. I kind of like that natural skin effect instead of that powdery look. Yeah. You know, and then I like the feel of it, you know, and it's not coming off on my hands. And it looks really natural in your person. And then... And for 57, honey, you better check it out. It's the it factor for me. <laughs> I think this is a perfect color. I think it is a good color. And then I actually have some of her foundation on. I guess I keep on wanting to call it a sunscreen, but it just is a foundation with sunscreen in it. So I actually have it on in my little T-zone or whatever. And then I mixed it with the MD Solar Sciences. They have a really good mineral sunscreen, so that's what I have. I mixed that with the outside. It's natural. Yeah, it looks good. Got yeah. a little glow. And we got a lot of compliments out. Um, the mother, daughter. daughter. Well, actually, it's like she thought I was a sister. And so that was a good compliment. I like that. Yes. And this is the other thing we got. Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. Yeah, child. Um, and we got this one is in the color Translucent Honey. And so I think we both have this on mm -hmm. today. Or it may not focus. But y'all know Laura Mercier by now. I really like the texture. It is an ultra blurring powder. This is the new kind that they have mm -hmm. that's talc free. Right. And it also has hyaluronic acid in it. I don't know how they put that in a powder form, but they did. It reminds me of that back in the day. Banana powder. You can put some on. I was just trying to see if they could see it on camera. I don't know. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> and we've actually been in the rain all day today too. So yeah. that powder lasted yeah, me though. throughout the rain and the foundation mm -hmm. lasted us. So now we'll get into the Saks Fifth Haul. We smelled about what? Five, seven different scents. You're going to have to say the names. Um, oh, so she got the Victor Rolf Flower Bomb. What do you like about that scent? Because you've got that before. Victor Roth is like a staple scent that I think a lot of women, you know, would like to have in their perfume yeah. stack. And what I like about it is I think that this fragrance right here, it's got a rich, sweet, with just a hint of bitter on the end and of like it. Like a little spice. And yes, yeah, just a little hint of it. But it's just like a really it's like an, the aroma is just like you can smell it over and over and it's like um, something that you can wear in the summer and the fall. Really, this is a, a fragrance that I think you can wear year round and it kind of gives you like, it's like, like a mind. little rich luxury feel. So I really love um, that about it and also it's long lasting. So I would think that no one else is smelling it, but I would get, get a lot of compliments. So I really like this about well, Victor. because you are a scent mixer. Like you kind of create your own scents. And I do. So she is it goes really well like i like the layer scents yeah and this right here i think it will complement a lot of whatever you have lotions and oils and things even like if you're the type of person that likes to kind of make your own scent or create your own type of situation it does go very well other thing she always smells nice Thank so. you. This is just one of my staples fragrances that I love to have, especially like when I'm going out for like a night on the town, the movies, or going to dinner, or you know, like just a little date, you know. I got a Victor Roth perfume as well in the scent Bonbon. Bon. And okay. so I just opened up the bottle and it does look different than all the other bottles we have gotten of this. And the bottle that was in the store is this, but. If you guys had this, you'd probably say your bottle looks different. I don't know what this whole situation is going on, why it's looking different than the other bottles we've received. So maybe they just rebottled it. But very spicy, but sweet. spicy, sweet scent. 
um, it's very alluring. This is like very sexy to me. Like when I wear it, I, it's a very sexy perfume. It is sexy, but I think it also will go well, like just going to work. Yeah. You know, and you still um, just want to have that that energetic, sweet smelling. You know, I'm ready for the day fragrance. I think that'll be really, yeah, like, really good fragrance to wear. Very feminine, very much so. If you want it to like have a scent that you could wear at night and like a night on the town or a night out with your boo, very good scent for that. Also, super good scent, just like even for work. It's, it's just one that people are going to be like, oh, girl, what are you wearing? It's very sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It's it's really well balanced out, I feel yeah. like, with the smokiness and, like, the spice I haven't really it. worn it, but I, um, just a little bit of the sample, but I'm looking forward to testing yeah. yours out. Well, we got a sample one way back when you got your flower bomb a few years ago, and that's where I first smelled this one. And I just used the, the body lotion. That's how I smelled it. But she had the actual sample in her purse today. And so I've actually never worn it as a perfume, really. But I've used, like, the lotion, and the lotion is really well-lasting. So that might be an actual one that may go back just to get the body lotion for this one. And just to mention, with both of these being a really um, luxury feel, great-smelling um, perfumes, the price points were, like, 125 And I think that, you know, it's not uh, where it's too high to be unaffordable or too low to feel like maybe they didn't use the best ingredients, but... I think that's a really good price range for so just for people who are thinking about like what would that cost it was like 125 yeah 125 and I think yours was 152 something like that. oh yeah mine could have been one. yeah 52. 52 yeah and um the other thing I love about Saks is we smelled we smelled some Tom Ford we smelled some Van Cleef and Arpel scents we smelled Baccarat you know Grand Sior is it Grand Sois Grand Sois which is by a very Parisian brand, yeah. as you can tell. Mm -hmm. But they also gave us these. So she has hers is not in her little baggie, but this is a sample of that's the Van Cleef and our pals. Van Cleef, and it's two thirty five. But it's um, one of those big girl grown women. Orchidy vanilla. Yes, uh, with the honey vanilla notes, and it is really sweet. really good. And it's so sweet. Is this is why we love going to Saks? And I haven't really been there. Like perfume shopping, but my mom has, and so I'm going with her today. And <sighs> so this is the Van Cleef and our pals. You may have to zoom in to see that, but the Van Cleef and our pals orchid vanilla. So anywho, they gave us those in these really cute little baggies, and I just feel like that really goes to say like their customer experience is like really nice um, because we smelled so many scents, and we didn't ask for these. They were just like, hey, I want to, like, just go home, like, try this out, smell it, and so, like, really sweet, you know. Well, for... not only that, when somebody gives me, when they go to that extent with customer service, and they give me that sample, it gives me an opportunity to really experience the fragrance, and then I don't mind paying, you know, the, yeah. the, the bigger price for it, because if I really love it, I, I like to get stuff that I really like, so I thought that was really good, and also, to top it off, they gave us these yes. for all the running babes um going to work you know putting it in the refrigerator you can distinguish your bottle from other people's beverages so that was a really good experience i really enjoyed um their customer service yeah. and their attentiveness their treats and gifts that they gave yeah, us it was really nice when you go in i just feel like some of the scents are so um maybe high level or high quality that I feel like you almost have to let them settle down before you actually get what they truly smell like. Because, like, she has on one now that in the store I was like, oh, uh-uh. That's a no for me. It smelled just very herbal and, and very smoky in my opinion, but we had dinner and, like, her sitting across the table and I'm like, okay, hold up, girl, you do smell good. You just have good. to settle into your heart. You do smell good, you know. Yeah. So, is there, is there one that you didn't get today that you would definitely go back and get? The Baccarat? get the anti grand soir because the grand soir was um not what i wanted to put on my shopping price list today <laughs> because they took such time and giving me the samples that i can experience it i i don't mind going back and um, getting that and i think for me it is the tom ford lost cherry i actually have had the metalik and by Tom Ford, and I loved it. It lasted me a long time, even though it's in like a really small bottle. And it's just because you don't need much of it. But I would love to try a cherry scent. So I think either their cherry smoke. Yeah, when or I smelled it, it, you could really 
smell the, the cherry, cherry notes. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I liked about it because a lot of times you tell them a note that you want, you really don't like, get that oh. true yeah. of it. So I think with that um, Tom Berry, is it Lost Cherry? It was really yeah, Lost Cherry is really, really good. And I don't really like floral scents, so I really like that. It's really important to have like those like little luxury experiences going out with each other and having some time to like fix yourself up. I think we've had a few uh, rough patches over these last few days, and so I think we just need to kind of get out the house and and get into what we want our next vision of ourselves to be. We're both like entering into new phases, and I think it's just really good. Even if you don't buy anything, we've went in sacks and mm -hmm. haven't bought anything. Well, yeah, just to see what what you like, and you you know and something that you really want I think you should treat yourself it's just like a mom and daughter date yeah I've seen dresses in there that I'm definitely going to go back for I think even though I know sometimes people are like oh but a $200 dress what's the difference between that and a $39 dress or a you know or a $700 what's the difference between that and something that you can get from any other store and I just feel like the esteem that it does give you I don't know what they do with their clothes I don't know if it's the tailoring in which they make their design pattern uh, patterns or just the way it fits on your body like it's something you could tell it's quality you could tell it's quality and it mm -hmm. definitely just speaks a different air about you and that's what I want I think that's what we both like want mm -hmm. and so exactly Thank you guys for joining. Like always, like, share, and subscribe. If you're here on this channel, this is just like a little tidbit that I like to share. Just like the little bit of the luxury side. Mm -hmm. But um, if you are interested in like inner work content, mindfulness content, this is definitely a home for you. And so we'll see you next time. Bye.